There she is. Our girl's here to talk yeah. about the top three trending things on our website, erienewsnow.com. Yeah, so we have the latest with the U.S. Brig Niagara, um, a community coming out to support a local student's cancer bottle, and the Rally House opening in the mall. So we're going to start with, can you hit the arrow again for sure. me? There, there we go. go. I, there we go. So we're going to start with the Brig Niagara. So volunteers of the flagship Niagara League are very concerned about the future of the U.S. Brig Niagara. The Coast Guard has changed its status to inactive in preparation for those repairs that it needs. And so as a result, the public can't tour the ship this season, which is kind of sad. And so the Pennsylvania Historic Museum Commission, has he, they took over operations back in January, and now legislatures are kind of dealing with the issue at the state level. People are saying that this status is normal, but volunteers are saying that that is just not the case, and they're very confused on what's going to go on here. So we've been following this story, and we'll continue to do so if there's any other updates, but this is just kind of the latest. It is inactive, and we cannot tour it. Moving on, over the weekend, an eighth grader from the Fort LaBeouf School District um, is currently battling cancer. Her name is Emily Huffman. She's 14 years old, and the community showed up to the St. Boniface Center on Sunday to kind of have a good spaghetti dinner, do basket raffles. There was over 200 baskets up for grabs to support her. She's in Pittsburgh seeking treatment, and so all the funds for this go towards her, uh, her cancer battle right now. We see this over and over with our community, people who don't have a lot to begin with finding yes. ways to help and you know, yes. finding extra And really actively following ways. these young individual stories too. They yep. want to help them. Yep. Thinking about Emily and her family tonight. Yes. And then last but not least, Rally House opened last week. Um, it's in the Mill Creek Mall Pavilion, so it's right next to Five Below. And eventually they're going to open one inside the mall as mm -hmm. well. So you kind of have two little options there to go shopping for sports memorabilia. You saw those are the Bills. I know I saw the Cleveland Browns. Mm, that's the important <laughs> one. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I know you guys are Browns fans. So yep. it's kind of perfect for sports All those regional Sports teams needs. represented. Yes. So many fans of all of those teams yeah, in our area. Right when we come back, 